Hi, this is Lito D'Amico, sales engineer for Gallagher Fluid Seals. Today we're going to discuss the typical mechanical seal repair and refurbishment of an Eagle Bergman single Cartex cartridge seal. The repair process starts with receiving and registering with the quote reference number or PO. After the seal is received and checked in and included MSDS has been reviewed, it goes through the disassembly process, which is what the technician is doing now. The technician takes care to ensure all the products are segregated to be inspected. All the small parts removed are kept till the inspection process is complete. The technician takes his time with the disassembly, taking photos along the way to keep a record of what he has found. Should the customer or distributor have any questions, a visual inspection report with pictures can be provided. After the seal is disassembled, it goes through a cleaning process. What you see here is an ultrasonic cleaner. The parts go into the caustic solution and the ultrasonic vibration aids in the cleaning of grime, dried or coked on product that is adhered to the seal's metal surfaces. After the ultrasonic cleaning, if there is product that is coked up that did not come clean through the sonic bath, those parts would go through a glass bead blaster for further cleaning. He will use the bead blaster to clean up the parts completely as shown here. After the bead blasting process to get the proper RMS finish on the part, it goes through a polishing process to obtain the proper surface finish as on this sleeve. It is very important as this is where the secondary sealing element will sit. An important part of repairing hard faces like silicon carbide is measuring the part for tolerance. If the face is deeply grooved, it may not be repairable, as removing too much material would cause the face to be below tolerance, making it unusable. The technician will also check the faces to ensure there are no nicks or scratches that can't be lapped out. That will determine which parts will need to be replaced or can be lapped. After the seal face is lapped, it is checked for flatness. This machine, which is typically called an optical flat, uses a helium light that is shown from underneath. It reflects off of the optical flat onto a mirror below, creating these light bands you see here. Between each one of those light bands is about 23 millionths of an inch of flatness. If the part is not at the desired flatness as required, you can go ahead and continue the lapping process until the desired flatness is achieved. That is what the technician is doing here, lapping the face by hand in a figure eight pattern and will test it on the optical flat again. Prior to the assembly of the seal, all of the items are inspected again before going forward with assembly to make sure everything is round, nothing is egg shaped, like the sleeve shown here. All of the secondary seals, O-rings, gaskets will be replaced. All the springs and set screws are replaced as well. In a situation like this, it's too much material to lap and will need to be replaced. At this point, when the final inspection is complete and we understand what needs to be replaced and what was able to be repaired, we now go through the assembly process, making sure proper lubrication is being used on the secondary seals, such as the O-rings, to aid in the assembly process. All new springs are inserted into the gland. Test to make sure the stationary face is not hung up on anything and that it is properly engaged into the anti-rotation pin. The faces are meticulously cleaned prior to putting them together. Set screws are installed, making sure they don't protrude through the sleeve so that there is no damage on the pump shaft when it is installed by the customer. After the seal is completely assembled, they come here to the testing area and they are tested with air pressure to 25 PSI for five minutes. If there is a loss of over two PSI in five minutes, it has failed and will be disassembled, checked and retested. The airline is isolated at 25 PSI and the test will take five minutes. If after five minutes the seal has lost two PSI or less, the seal has passed the pressure test and can be shipped to the customer. 
Thanks for watching our video on the typical mechanical seal repair and refurbishment process. Visit GallagherSeals.com to request more information or to schedule a meeting with one of our dedicated mechanical seal specialists.